Hello friends and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to be showing you how to create this beautiful sunshine inspired mandala which actually features on my brand new 2024 diaries which are available to purchase in my Etsy store. As usual everything that you will need to create this design will be listed down below in the description box um, but just to give you an idea you will just need four acrylic paint cones for this design I am using a rich gold and iridescent orange a really nice like sunshine golden yellow and more of a lemon yellow color as well so as you know I like to be completely honest with you guys in these videos and I am going to try my best to be my usual cheery self, however it is 1am in the morning which is the only time I get to edit these videos at the moment and also just the fact that everything in the world is so heavy right now, the fact that we are witnessing a literal genocide and we feel so powerless in being able to do anything about it, it's all just really really heavy and it's on my heart as I'm sure it's on yours. So please just bear with me um, and yeah, let's, let's create this design and bring a little bit of sunshine and joy into the world when we need it the most. So as you saw on the screen previously, I marked out the centre of my diary just using a ruler and a pencil and then I just used a compass and a pen and a pencil just to mark out lots and lots of circles just as guidelines. I don't always stick entirely to these but they are there if I need them. So yeah, if you're going to create this mandala I would highly recommend you doing that especially if you are a beginner to this art form. I started off this design placing a beautiful bright yellow gemstone right in the centre of the diary. I circle this then with my golden yellow paint cone. Um, so as you can see there's the rhinestone and then there's another little circle which is golden yellow. And then we returned back to our rich gold and did a series of humps and now I am just placing quite plump dots around those humps. And now going in with my iridescent orange paint cone. This is another paint cone from the Pebio. I always get confused and I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I believe it is Pebio. It's a French brand of paint, um, I believe. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is their iridescent orange and I do use a lot of their iridescent colors in my work. I really like this brand. I really like the consistency of the paint. So yes, here we are just placing smaller dots in between those yellow dots that we did earlier and now outlining that with a rich gold circle. If you are new to my channel, I do combine the art of dotting along with henna inspired artwork. Most of my artwork is created using acrylic paint cones. Now this is literally what it says on the tin. It's, it's acrylic paint in a cone and you can learn how to make your own in another video of mine which I will link down below. It's pretty simple to make and the world of opportunities that paint cones open opens is incredible. So I highly, highly, highly recommend them. And now I am just adding another layer of humps around the circle that we just created. You will notice in my type of artwork, which is a mixture of henna, mandala, dotting, let's just call it hendala or something like that for now. Um, but we do repeat a lot of the same elements over and over again. I guess as you do in a lot of like intricate pattern inspired artwork and it is just really really effective so as you can see we've already done two layers of the humps but they they are really effective like i said so now i am just going in with this bright lemon yellow paint cone and doing a layer of smaller dots on the inside rim of that golden circle and if you guys would like to see videos where i do break down the different elements that I combine together in my artwork 
um, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to create that for you. There's just a few very simple elements that once they come together and they build upon each other, they look really, really beautiful. And yeah, I'd love to show you guys how to do that. So if that is something you would like to see or learn, then please leave a comment and let me know. It's now time to add our first layer of rhinestones to this mandala. I keep saying rhinesteins and I don't know why. Anyway, I am using eight iridescent orange rhinestones um, that I believe I purchased from eBay a very, very long time ago. I'm sure they're still available. These are six millimeter round rhinestones. I'm sure if you type that into eBay or wherever else you do your shopping nowadays, um, they should come up. So we are putting eight of these on the piece and I've just marked those out by putting a dot on the top and the bottom, either side and then diagonally on both sides going across and to stick them down, literally just use a blob of paint so I use my rich acrylic paint cone just to place a blob of paint wherever I'm going to be placing the rhinestone I did used to use glue back in the day then I discovered this trick and I was like wow saves me a lot of time so yeah it's just a very si simple and quick way to add your rhinestones onto the piece place them down and then now I am going around each one with another layer of that beautiful golden yellow. For the next part of this mandala design, I am going to be creating a petal shape around each rhinestone. So using the guidelines that you created, hopefully right at the beginning of this piece, just you just choose one that is obviously bigger than where the rhinestones are placed and just create your petal shape so they all reach the same point and just do this for all eight rhinestones. You might have noticed that so far in this design I am repeating the golden yellow always coming after the rich gold so we're doing that again here. So the petals that we've created with, with the rich gold are now being outlined with the golden yellow. So again we're going to do that for all eight petals. Now it's time for some swoosh action. So, oh, that was a bit of a mouthful. Swoosh action. <laughs> so take your iridescent orange paint cone and we're gonna create a series of swooshes in between each of the petals. You'll get about five swooshes out of this. So you want to apply more pressure as you create the tip of the swoosh and as you taper it down and pull it more towards the center, you're gonna lessen the pressure so it does taper off and goes quite thin at the end. We're gonna repeat this all around the flower that we've created so far. And I am aware that my hand is covering the design quite a lot at the beginning of this piece and I'm gonna figure it out. I'm still figuring out camera angles and sound and lighting and all of that so just bear with me but this will improve as the video goes on so just bear with me
keeping hold of your iridescent orange paint cone, just go into the petal and add a nice blobby dot of the orange just above the rhinestone. This now brings us to the next layer of the mandala and using your guidelines you're just going to take your rich gold and create a circle. hadn't already figured it out we're now going to create a series of humps going all the way around the circle so just hump your way around the circle uh, that sounds really wrong I am not going to say that again <laughs> taking my gorgeous lemon yellow acrylic paint cone and I'm just gonna layer the inside rim of this circle with a layer of beautiful little squishy yellow lemon dots. <laughs> with that lemon yellow just go back into each of your petals and add another little dot on top of the iridescent orange dot you created earlier i like i've said in previous videos i really do not plan my designs i just go with the flow so that's why you'll sometimes see me flitting from one layer back to the previous layer back to the outer layer that's just how i work but i hope it's making sense for you while watching these videos Here I am now preparing the mandala for the next layer of rhinestones and to mark out the points where I'll be placing those rhinestones I'm just using the swooshes from the previous layer. So we're going to the center swoosh in each section and just placing a nice juicy acrylic dot in rich gold so we can place our rhinestone down and it will stick beautifully. We're using the same yellow rhinestone that we used right in the center of the mandala for this layer. So all together you're going to need nine of these lovely, quite plain yellow rhinestones, but they're still super effective and it's still a lovely color. And they are six millimeters as well.
just outlining each of those rhinestones with another layer of that rich gold acrylic paint. And now picking up that lovely golden yellow and doing the exact same thing around each of the rhinestones so it's got a double layer of outlines. Finally come to what for me is like the most relaxing part of the design I guess where you can kind of just let go and just flow fully so this is the part where we're just going to be doing multitudes of dots we're going to be walking the dots around each of the rhinestones and I am beginning that process with my iridescent orange paint cone so all you need to do is start with a really fat blob right at the top of each rhinestone and then just walk it down the side so that basically means each dot gets smaller as you get closer to the outer edge of the mandala as we are on this section of painting the dots all the way around each rhinestone and as you do this or as you watch me do this i'd just like to share a few thoughts on everything that's happening right now, the current climate that we're in as we sit in our comfortable homes, in our comfortable clothes, on our comfortable phones, witnessing an actual genocide taking place before our eyes. And wow, that is collective trauma on another level, but nothing compared to what these people are going through in their own home country. And I've just been reflecting deeply on how so many of us live our lives in fear of speaking our truth. We live in fear of standing up for what is right on a global level, a societal level and on a personal level as well. Society itself is constructed in a way where you do what you're told and I'm kind of seeing that play out right now. You follow, you conform, you accept whatever you're told and you don't ever put a foot out of line. Just in case you face the repercussions. But blatant injustice is occurring all around the world. Everywhere, racial, religious, social, economic. We're all aware that it's there, that it's happening. But what are we actually doing about it? Do we ever speak up about it? And as you're watching this video today and as you're hearing me speak right now, now is a time to speak up for truth. Now is not a time to be silent. Now is a time to use your voice if you stand for humanity. And I know it's hard, especially when it feels like there is so much going against you, when there's so much at risk. It's hard to stand up in truth when you may be facing a barrage of hate. It's hard to stand up in truth when you may be going against all you have ever known and been taught. And it's hard to stand up in truth when it feels like you're standing up alone. Standing up for truth always comes with its own potential risks. But what about the risks you take when you continue to swallow your truth? What then? I'd just like to remind you today that every single person that came and left the world a better place than the one that they entered did so through standing firm in their truth. The prophets, messengers and peacemakers from all different backgrounds from all around the world stood up for the betterment of humanity even when at times it seemed that the whole world was against them. So what I ask of you today 
is do you want this world to be a better place and are you willing to stand up for truth are you willing to call out what is happening for exactly what it is the modern day genocide are you willing to do that because we need your voice whoever you are despite your follower numbers or whatever (laughs) it doesn't matter you can make a change anywhere in your life you can speak up you can have conversations about what is happening you can share posts on social media it's just it's so important that we use our voices right now and we stand up for truth and we stand up for humanity so so please do that today if you're ready if you're willing if you're capable and if you believe in this please please stand up for humanity and coming back to the design now as you can see i did a really intricate layer of tiny tiny little dots right in the second layer of the mandala just going around and it kind of just connects everything together and now we're coming towards the end of the design actually so we are doing some golden swooshes um i've heard people call these a number of different things but they're not coming to mind right now um but yeah we're just gonna do some swooshes in that rich gold and there's going to be five swooshes in between each petal once again like to finish off my designs with just a few little added details so we're going to take that gorgeous rich gold acrylic paint cone and do a little dot at the top point or the tip of each petal and then we're going to do the same for each of the tallest swooshes using the lemon yellow and finally if you would like to own a piece of my art something that is functional something that is beautiful something that you're going to be seeing every day in 2024 you can place your diary orders right now on my etsy store everything can be customized you can choose your colors you can add a name you can add a word some quotes whatever you want just go directly to my etsy store the link will be down below and i can't wait to take your orders and we are done once again thank you so much for watching this video sending you lots of light love and peace and i will see you very very soon <laughs>